Fixing an afternoon snack is something most of us think very little about, but for Rachel Pine, it can be excruciating. Rachel can not only hear herself chewing and swallowing food, but her body digesting it. She's actually heard her eyes move as they scan a magazine, and even when she tries to find peace and quiet, the noises never stop. I can hear my heart beating, and it's like thump thump and my whole ear goes out. It feels like my whole ear is beating with my heart. Rachel suffers from superior semicircular canal dehiscence or SSCD. The bone between her inner ears and brain developed tiny holes that caused huge problems. When you start to hear noises that you shouldn't all the time, it gets to be very distracting to the point where you can't concentrate, you can't sleep, you can't function. Along with the noises, Rachel began losing her balance and suffering debilitating dizzy spells. Right. She saw nine doctors with no answers. Then she she learned the only cure was opening her skull to plug the holes in her inner ears. In the past, that surgery meant big scars and long recoveries. So Rachel traveled from her home in Indiana to Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center, where doctors have pioneered a new approach that results in a shorter surgery, smaller scar, and faster recovery. What we do now is we make we do the whole surgery in an opening the size of a dime. And they do it with remarkable technology. To find an opening in a bone smaller than the head of an ink pen, doctors at UCLA map the brain, then use GPS-like technology to pinpoint the hole and seal it with filler. It's like a heat-seeking missile right for the itty-bitty hole that's between the ear and the brain. And so that lets us find the needle in the haystack. And give patients immediate relief. They're just shocked. I think there's very few things that are that instantaneous and they go to sleep and uh, when they wake up, it's gone and they're very uh, uh, happily surprised. When I woke up, I just thought, oh my gosh, it's gone. At Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting. <laughs> oh man, was that good?